TwitchCon is the biggest streamer convention held yearly. It's uh -oh. also ridiculously expensive, but guys, don't worry, it's worth it. I mean, you get to meet your role models, your idols, the people you look up to, your favorite. Yeah, this video is called TwitchCon's VTuber Drug Party Disaster. Oh, dear. Streamers. Oh, dear. But if you happen to go as the streamer, it's even better because you're getting to meet up with your wonderful fans and your coworkers. Wait, TwitchCon is for everybody? So, like, everybody can just go there? I didn't know that. I'm not gonna lie, I thought TwitchCon was like a content creator-like thing. I thought it was like a bunch of content creators, like, I don't know, sucking each other off or something, you know? I, 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 did, I didn't know. You also get to be directly harassed on stream by someone trying to get some clout. Yes, this popular- What the f- What the f- The streamer is getting his- What the f- What the f- By someone trying to get some clout. That's so yes weird man popular streamer is getting his nipple kissed with that. Did this guy get in trouble did this guy get in trouble for that at his consent that's right that's Twitch fucking sexual harassment it's got everybody make sure to come next did he get banned they probably should ban him too honestly he should be banned from twitch that's freaking disgusting yeah. yeah there was a lot of harassment oh it's kick streamers i see it's kick streamers of course it is this year uh it was a disaster guys it was <laughs> so many streams it's not sexual harassment because the target was male yeah, that's retarded. Members got harassed. People ran after them, uh, trying to make their own content. It was really pathetic. But ignore all that. It's just noise. As we know, the convention itself is nothing more than an excuse. To oh, fuck. It's in San Diego. Do people keep asking me, like, Leafla, are you going to go to TwitchCon? And I just laugh at them every time. I just laugh. I'm like, me? Go to TwitchCon? Yeah, right, man. Just go to San Diego. Yeah, right, because that's that's really what I love. I want to go out and like meet all of the Twitch people. Yeah. With all your fellow streamers and party like there's no tomorrow. This isn't just exclusive to TwitchCon. Every convention kind of works that way. As a streamer, the real way to grow your network, meet new friends, and create new business opportunities doesn't happen in the convention itself it happens behind closed doors in the i have a story to tell you guys about twitch remind me remind me after the video parties or hotel rooms but we're not here to talk about i don't want to give there i don't want to give so uh, give the team some more editing time and mixers and lunches and dinners it's ridiculous but now imagine being a smaller streamer and getting access to a party that is highly exclusive with oh top my God. DJ performers and Real? an RSVP list that is checked on a case by case basis wow. to see whether you're famous Sounds enough absolutely to attend and you somehow fun. get approved. Entertaining. You'll meet large creators, successful creators, creators that you might be a mega fan of. This is a dream come true. Yo, so who's the who's the Diddy of Twitch? I probably shouldn't ask that. I probably shouldn't ask that. And I'm sure you'd be expecting the Never par mind, don't tell me. Party of a lifetime. You surely wouldn't be expecting someone to spike your drink with a very powerful drug when okay someone was the diddy of twitch apparently you're not looking okay well I mean, there there you have it the videos we're gonna find out in the video okay so the point where you can't even move your lips at some point because your entire body is limp you also wouldn't be expecting the fire marshals to show up because somehow this exclusive party with very limited space got overcrowded What's up, Kenny? and finally you also wouldn't be expecting the party organizer to find your post on twitter complaining about this and double down while being extremely defensive and making a complete clown out of himself yeah <laughs> these things actually happened it's a catastrophe so uh let's talk about it, it. seems like a disaster like honestly like i don't, I don't man i don't right. know so as I mentioned, when it comes to- I'm not a normie though. I don't know about these kind of things. I've been here though. I've been, I've been to San Diego. Convention. Pretty good it's food. It's really just all about the parties happening around. It's like an it. old school when diner. When you go to a convention as a VTuber, <laughs> it's not really as straightforward as a normal streamer going there. Uh -huh. One of the main reasons why they are VTubers in the first place is for anonymity. They yeah. want to keep their real identity secret. Uh -huh. So they'll either go there virtually, meeting up their fans through a screen, mm -hmm. or they'll go physically, but make sure to wear a mask or a cap. Yeah, I love these. I love these pictures every time they get taken with the, hey, guys, we're together, but not really. App or sunglasses or something to stay incognito and only take off these things with people they trust, with friends who understand their situation. This is why they can't just mm -hmm. go to any party at TwitchCon, right? Because not all of You know what I gotta do, guys? Like, guys, what do you think of my idea? I gotta get somebody to go to one of these things. I'm gonna give them my model to put on the phone. 
so that they can pretend to be me. And then everyone can think that they met me, but they didn't. So like, I'm actually like a pu I'm actually like the puppet master, like behind the scenes, you know what I mean? Them understand their precarious situation What's up, and having Krimbo? to stay anonymous. People could be streaming there, taking pictures, whatever. They have to go to a party that understands privacy. That's where this highly exclusive party came in, called the after party Blurp X Melt. See, but you know, you know what would have been like even more crazy though? What would have been like even more next level? Is that like if I was also there, but I was like actually like pretending to be like my own manager, wouldn't that be crazy? Like I would, I, I, you actually go as like your own manager. You like get somebody else to like pretend to be you, and then you just follow your, you just follow quote unquote yourself around. It was hosted on Thursday, September nineteenth, yeah. from nine p.m. to one a.m. It was a private event. You would have to register on this website and hope that they approve you because they would look at everyone from. I a think case. honestly, if I ever went to like an event like this, I would get those giant like Fumo suits or something. I wear something like that, like a giant Fumo suit, like those freaking massive like chibi ones, you know, something like that. By case basis. And yes, the amount of followers you had and the amount of viewers you would get played a big role in whether you would get accepted or not. There were yeah, exceptions, like the of course, call just saying, like any yeah. party. But you definitely had to be a Twitch partner minimum. Because let's see the description. It says, the TwitchCon partner after party. Come hang with some of the top creators and brands in the industry. Jesus. Enjoy music with Twitch's top DJ creators in the main lobby or relax on the rooftop terrace to network and meet. Do that, dude. You know what I would love to do, though? I would love to DJ one of these. Like, that would be the greatest fucking shit ever. Because I would just troll. I would just play, like, the worst music. I'd totally kill the vibe. It would be so amazing. <laughs> That's like my dream, actually. Like, like my dream would be to like actually like sneak myself in as like the DJ to like one of these events and just totally kill the vibe with like the worst music. <laughs> Other creators great. and brands. And then they add, we have zero tolerance for physical, verbal, or sexual harassment. This includes mm -hmm. non-consensual touching, violence, discriminatory language, or any behaviors that have a negative impact on the experience or the physical safety of other guests. If a problem or concern arises, guests are encouraged to locate a staff member for assistance. While on the dance floor, we encourage guests to keep conversations to a minimum and phones in their pockets. Just keep mm -hmm. this paragraph in mind because it'll be even funnier later, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so from the rules, it says, 21 plus must show ID at the door. No streaming inside the venue. This is a very important thing for VTubers who want to stay anonymous mm -hmm. and not get caught in someone's stream. And plus one. Okay, hold on. This seems like a very bad idea. You're putting your, your whole self into the hands of like random people. Uh, like random people knowing like your identity as a VTuber. So aren't you just fucking up your OPSEC? Because all it takes is one person that's like stupid. That knows you. And then you're fucked basically. All they have to do is post a picture and, you know, I don't know, they're drunk or something. You know, they're probably all drunk here anyway. All it takes is one person to take a picture and then, like, not notice that you're in the background or something. ...are allowed but must have their own accepted RSVP as well. Which should be a good thing because it means that no one random is going to be showing up as a plus one either. Everyone is going to be vetted manually. Keep all of this in mind for later. So this is hosted by Blurp and Melt Studio. Melt Studio is nothing more than the sponsor Blurp <laughs> was partnering with, but this is really Blurp's party. This wasn't really the first time Blurp had made a TwitchCon type party. He had made two last year during TwitchCon 2023 in Las Vegas, and they were big successes as far as I can tell. The first one being a mask. It's especially dangerous for like a lot of women that they don't really protect themselves on the more parasocial side of, of, of streaming. And, you know, you're kind of encouraging like those kinds of relationships and stuff like that. Um, it's even more dangerous for you because you're setting yourself into positions where like you can have like a really crazy fan. Those are the people that have like the really crazy fans. But like simultaneously, this is just my experience. Simultaneously, the people that have that are also simultaneously the people that don't really like invest in protecting themselves. So it just seems like a very bad combo going to like live events like this, having the type of community that like would do that kind of stuff. And then simultaneously being like, I'm anti-gun. You're just setting yourself up in like a really bad situation. And again, like, I'm not saying it's there. Like at some point you have to like accept responsibility for like, you know, your own safety. So it, it just, it just seems really dangerous to me. And I think it's, it feels like it's only a matter of time before, you know, some kind of shit happens, you know, like some kind of freaking ocean or coast situation, you know, like. Event and the second one being a paid VIP party. So Blurp is someone with an established reputation. This is why people had high expectations and so many high profile VTubers went there. 
it unfortunately ended in complete disaster. Now, this all started uh -huh. when Hades, a VTuber from the Mythos Agency, made one tweet saying, I think I was drugged at the bar. She then clarified with this tweet saying, an update, I am awake. Holy fuck. How does that happen? Oh, I guess, I guess like, uh, like, just slipped them when they're not looking. No, we don't know what actually happened to me last That's night so other fucked. than I just wasn't okay. I was in no state to go to the hospital as I don't have insurance, and so I did not receive any tests to see if I had something in my system. We only suspect my drink may have been spiked due to how sick and horrible and drunk I felt after only two drinks even three to four hours out from leaving the bar. I mm. felt very wrong and overall not okay. I was in a terrible headspace and honestly should not have been tweeting and I apologize. You got you gotta go with friends. You gotta have you gotta have like backup, you know? You gotta have like backup that you trust. For anyone I may have worried. Thankfully, my friends took care of me, so I am safe no matter what caused me to feel that way. So this probably happened in a bar around downtown, not too far from where TwitchCon was being held. And it's a very unfortunate reality. Oh, this it's not its not actually at TwitchCon. This is at a bar. Okay. To keep your eye on your drink at all times. And even then, it's not enough sometimes. That's why you're meant to be with friends. And that's exactly what Hades had done. She was yeah, with mm -hmm. a bunch of different VTubers from Mythos. And they were able to get her out of there safely. Dang, dude. And thankfully, nothing crazy had happened. But then, all of a sudden, Emuki, a different VTuber, quote tweeted that update from Hades and said this, I was also roofied last night at a VIP... Okay, okay, guys. It's gonna sound dumb, but what happens when you get roofied? Or was that like a... What kind of debuff are we talking here? Oh! We're talking about like a whole... Like a full-on hold person. Okay. That's not good. Party. I'm safe and okay. Had a wonderful group of friends to help me. Stay safe, gamers, and cover your drinks. Yikes. Now, all of a sudden, this is a completely incapacitated. Yikes. And just some random bar. This is a VIP party. So as many people were wondering what the hell had happened exactly, Imuki adds this. I've so wait, they can just like put that in your drink and then like, that's it? It's over? I guess it dissolves. It's got to dissolve or something like that. Roofied right. before, mm -hmm. so I knew the signs. I couldn't move my entire body for a good 40 minutes. Thanks for the friends I had. What the fuck? Been roofied before? Wait, this isn't like a... Wait, this shit happens like normally? Dude, I, I, I'm real with you guys. I'm not a normie. I don't know about this shit. I'm not, I'm not a normie. I don't go to bars. I don't hang out with anybody. I don't know any of this. It's at parties? You've been roofied a couple times. Holy fuck, what the hell? Let me cook, dude. That's so crazy. Wait, how, how easy is it to catch someone? Dude, you guys need to get like lids or something. You need to get like lids for your drinks, you know? But genuinely f blurb for Universally made a nail polish that reacts to roofy drinks, dude. Covers and not giving them out. I'll talk about it when I get home more, but I'm just shaken up and pissed my friends had to carry my limp body back to the Airbnb when we just wanted to have a nice party. Oh my god, Do better, dude. Blurp. So first off, that can't be good for you either. That seems like really bad for you. <laughs> really unfortunate that you got roofied before and know exactly how it feels. And second off, she was directly saying that this was Blurp's fault for not handing out drink covers when they were already present at the party. Not only is this, if you if you want to never trust humans again, I mean, uh, look up some videos on how easy it's to put something in someone's drink, even when they're trying to pay attention. Oh yeah, I mean, it's just like uh, like I I I used to do a lot of like magic tricks. Yeah, it's definitely like pretty easy. You could just palm it, right? You could just palm it, and then you just like yeah, it's sleight of hand. Yeah, it's very. There's a lot of like really basic sleight of hand, so it's pretty easy. It's a massive well, misdirection too. Like you just like you do something to make them look away. You know, obviously not like the super obvious, like, hey, what's over there? But, you know, like something um, along those lines. But we also confirmed she was talking about the highly exclusive after party hosted by Blurp. Things were getting serious now. A couple days later, after Muki went back home and had time to process, she finally posts her statement. Here's Shit. what it had to say. My statement about being roofied at the 2024 Friday Twitch- Wait, but if it's the VIP party, it's all partners, right? This is like the streamer party. I mean, the streamer did it. Con blurb VIP party trigger warning. To start with, this was mostly a VTuber party full of larger creators who were not wearing their usual facial disguises and coverings, meaning we all thought it was a safe space to vibe and meet other creators. And it was, for a little. About two hours into it, the party started getting a bit more crowded and I remember thinking I didn't see this many people on the guest list we all registered for. In other words, the security to a VIP party was Yikes. Shot. One of my close friends noticed their water tasted funny and- That's not a good sign. 
and only took a few sips but started feeling off which dude i'm like like you guys want to know how how crazy i am like th like uh, th this this literally happened to me one time i was eating kbbq um i was, I was eating kbbq I got some water. I drank it. I was like, this tastes really fucking weird. I got up out of my seat. I walked to the gas station. I bought a fucking two liter of water and I walked back in and I just drank my water. Which I knew was most likely a low grade roofie. Like, get the While fuck out of here, man. Uber with them, I notified the security guard who yelled at us for taking up the walkway, shaking my head, that she was most likely roofied shortly after she was picked up. Yeah, I got, I got smart water. That shit's really good. It hit me hard. Now, for context, I have been roofied before, so I know how it feels, but this was something much, much more severe. Once I started feeling heavy and unable to read well, I immediately ran to the bartenders, who I befriended, to let them know I'd been roofied and to take precautions. I was informed at that point that they had drink... Do, do they not have, like, cameras at these places? Do they not have, like, security cameras? Like, you can tell who did it? Like... ...covers and were not handing them out. My friends, thank God they were there, had to carry my limp hyperventilating body out of the party, which was Dude, soon blocked off fuck. by the fire marshals for overcrowding. For about two hours after that, I could only move my mouth, mumbling, and my eyelids. My point in this is that it Dude, was a VIP so party bad. with major creators there who felt it was a safe environment to demask. They had drink covers and did nothing, and security was shit and started letting God knows who in after- Wait, they had drink covers and did nothing? Wait, wait, wait. How does that work? So, like, if you have a cover on your drink, that, like, increases- that's, like, a, that's, like, a lot of defense from um oh they didn't hand them out i think i mean i mean wouldn't you ask for them we should be like hey can i get like a drink cover like dude for a few hours they had a responsibility to take care of us and did not my con was ruined and i spent the rest of it shaken up dude, people need to start bringing their own drink covers am i wrong like you should just first off let me say obviously this is fucked up but like i feel like if this is the kind of world that you're gonna you're gonna expose yourself to like i feel like you should take your own personal precautions you know what i mean they don't let you bring a fucking drink cover? Are you kidding me? Scared to drink anything but water, do better, blur. No fucking way. So this wasn't just a roofie, this was one hell of a drug. Something way stronger than the usual. And I think regardless of your gender in this situation, I'm sure you can imagine how scary it is to only be able to move your eyelids and your lips barely yeah, what while the, the rest fuck, of your body dude? stays limp. This is horrible. A complete horror story. But we were only left with more questions. How does a VIP party go so out of control so quickly? What were the fire marshals here for? Well, Blurp felt the need to reply to this. It's less that you can't bring drink covers and anymore that you can't bring your own containers. I mean, surely someone would make a product for this to protect your own drinks, right? I mean, hell, like, like you could use like a piece of paper or something, right? Surely. Post because it went viral. Here's what he had to say. Hey, Emily. Great start. Already misspelling her name. <laughs> this is the second. Did you know what you should do? You should get like a cup that has a false, a false top where like it, it comes out like the side and then there's just like a cup at the top of the thing a, a fake top to the cup. It's like when they put something in there, it just gets, it just gets stuck in the cup. In case we've heard of someone that got their drink spiked and we're so upset that happened to you and so glad you're recovering. Okay. Unfortunately, we did not have any drink covers for the party, nor did we communicate that we will have any. But at future parties, we will be sure to provide them. Please let us know if there's anything we can do to help you through. Yeah, yeah I mean, I mean, I feel like you should just you should bring one, right? You should bring your own. I mean, Mike, am I, am I, dude, am I, am I crazy for thinking that that you should just bring your own drink covers? Like, I, I mean, the thing is, is like women carry purses too. Like we carry purses, so like there's like extra. You know, you have like a freaking bag of holding you can put it in you know what i mean it's not like dudes they only have pockets you know do i have a purse yeah of course uh, although i will admit i used to carry like a much more cuter purse but then i i kind of switched to something a little more tactical i just switched to like a canvas like it's like a canvas purse i got tired of my purses getting dirty i only imagine um you with massive cargo pants and lots of belts usually you can't bring outside stuff into bars wait wait no, there's no way dude there's no there, dude no there's no way there's no way there's like there like if you carried a like a like a like a drink cover in your purse that they would tell you that you couldn't have it there's no way that doesn't make sense you can't bring outside stuff unless it's drugs <laughs> oh my god every place is different i mean there's no way because women have purses even a lot of women carry purse hooks you know you have you have your bag and it's got like you know makeup and all sorts of shit in it how would that be something you couldn't take in do they like take your purse at the door i don't know i don't go to these places do they take your purse at the door? I doubt it. That doesn't make any sense.
people aren't thinking that far ahead. Well, I mean, I feel like they should, you know, and, and like, obviously I'm saying like, this is a very terrible thing. And like, you know, this is, this is awful that this happened, obviously, but I feel like you got to protect yourself. You know what I mean? They should with the arm uh, because they shouldn't have to. Yeah. But like, see, see, like, I don't really like that. I hear the argument all the time. I shouldn't have to, right? Like, Again, I, I always go back to the whole gun thing. Like, oh, you shouldn't have to carry a gun. Yeah, but you know, that's not the world that we live in, right? Like you, you, you have to like have some accountability for your own protection, right? Because you're the only, you, you're the only factor that you can control in like this whole fucked up shit. People are gonna have all sorts of um, methodology, you, you know, evil will find a way. Evil will find a way and you're the only one that can stop it. For context, these are streamers. Imagine your average streamer. I mean, this is why I'm talking about it right now is because I'm like, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you guys that you have to watch out for your shit, you know? Then Emuki replied. She said, first, it's Emuki. I'm not okay. And even without the drink covers, it was your responsibility at a VIP invite only party with several big names to make mm -hmm. sure the only people allowed in were on the list drink covers or not, this is on you. Blurpy did not let this die here. No, he had to reply again, okay. saying, sorry, Imuki, it auto-corrected. Everyone that got in was manually approved by us and our sponsors. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The venue capacity was 350 and we only let 325 on the roof. And at one point, 15 had to wait for others to leave to get in. There were no plus ones or otherwise that were allowed in without an invitation. We denied nearly okay. 500 plus RSVPs for the event. There was security at check-in to get wristbands security to get onto the elevators and security to get onto the roof itself. We absolutely agree we should have had drink covers for all guests. As we stated uh -huh. in our direct message to you, we'd be happy to discuss options to make this right to you and any other guests that were affected. I mean, is there any proof? I mean, like, is there is there proof that there were people in there that like weren't allowed to be in there? Because like, how do we know this wasn't just another content creator, right? So they're, they're bad at vetting people. Sounds like they didn't really vet anything. Um, yeah, I mean, we don't, we don't know. We don't know if, like, if the fuck up, I mean, they, they, they already agreed here that, like, it was bad that they didn't have drink covers, but we don't know, we don't know if this was, like, a person who, like, snuck in, or if it was actually a content creator who did it. I mean, would you, would you put it past, would you put it past another content creator to do this? I wouldn't. In, in fact, I think it's probably more likely. Now, I don't know about you, but this response does sound pretty damn passive aggressive to me. And it's not the kind of reassuring statement you're meant to give to someone who just got roofied at one of your own It could parties. have been staff. You're right. Oh, it could yeah, have been we staff. We manually approved every guest on the list. We had security everywhere. Okay, man, that's great. Now, how did a bioweapon make it through your security so easily? A I, I mean, isn't that easy to hide? Couldn't you? If it's a pill, I I'm assuming it's a pill. That, that would be very easy to hide, right? Drug that can knock every part of your body out. Have it in your pocket, underneath your watch, in a compartment on your phone case, in your hair. Like there's probably like a million places you could put it. For two hours or more. Good to know that you manually approved the person who did this coming into your party. Wonderful job. This only made him look like a clown. I mean, come I'm on. I'm just surprised there wasn't like cameras. I could like could have seen like who did it. You know. What kind of response is that? There's also, of course, no mention of the fire marshals and the overcrowding incident, or the fact that she wasn't the only one who got roofied. Oh, and let's not forget how he ended his statement. We direct messaged you, we'd be happy to discuss it there. So in other words, we'd love for this to quiet down and isolate. Well, I mean, you don't want to talk about this kind of shit in public. I think, I think that's fair. Let you so people stop talking about it. I don't know, I don't think this reply is that bad. <laughs> this, this is- Am I crazy? I don't think the reply is that bad. It's terrible. I mean, at this point, you're probably wondering who the hell is Blurpy anyway? And he's just some dude who made this app called Blurp for streamers. It allows you to play sounds during a stream to interact with the streamer and use custom AI text-to-speech voices. Blurpy is pretending like everything is going just fine. Posting this on September 27th, asking, mm. hey, who wants a follow? <laughs> and the tweet before that being, You went to that party, Ecto? Wait, what? Was it that bad? Okay, there. Now we have a first-hand person. Was it that bad, like the security? Great party, great TwitchCon. Thank you all for coming. It was so fucking crowded. Yeah, it's like 350 people. That sounds crazy. This post in particular has many replies, angry and disappointed over what had happened in the party. And what's interesting is that you find Blurpy contradicting himself. 
For example, someone replied with, Cultivating a community sounds wonderful. Will those communities be protected from getting roofied at rooftop parties or maybe actually see the drink covers that were provided and never had? Yeah, I think that's the biggest mistake that they made was to, um, if they did say that they had drink covers, um, I don't know. I, I don't know what actually happened. I don't know if they were telling everyone that they were going to have drink covers and they didn't. Um, I, I don't know. Again, I, I, I still think that the only thing that you can do really is to bring your own. Is to, is to bring your own and like have your own protections against this kind of stuff. And it out. And Blurpy replies with this saying, we've heard of only one case of streamer that may have had their drink spiked. Have you personally heard of any others? This is interesting because she had posted this. It says here, hold on, hold on. There's a similarity uh, there. What happens when you, not you in particular, have a big enough following, all kinds of creepers start to come out of the woodworks. I still don't don't understand how you manage them. I, I, I mean... Uh, I mean, you got to just have good security, good security. And like, if you know, you don't, I mean, you're the only security, right? It's, I don't know. And you know, obviously that's kind of sucks, but I mean, that's, that's what you have to do. It says here, we never promised drink covers. We never promised to bring the drink covers. So they, they, they never said they were going to have drink covers. Had their drink spike. If they didn't, then I don't see what the problem is. I mean, am I crazy? I, I, I don't know. Have you personally heard of any others? This is interesting because she had posted this two days before he- I would just bring my own drink, uh, like bottled water, just to be safe. Mm -hmm. Posted that mm -hmm. reply, calling out Blurp, saying she got roofied. So it's either Blurpy doesn't really know how to count, or there are more and more people coming out with roofie stories than he can keep track of. Now, Falseside also made a video on the situation and reached out to Redclaw, another VTuber that was at the party. He confirmed okay. some pretty concerning details. Okay, here we go. Like, here we go. Now we're going to get into it. Security wouldn't look at the bags of anyone entering the party. And this doesn't surprise me one. Wait, is that normal? They look into the, the I, I guess they would because they look for weapons, right? I guess they do look for what? Like, I, I don't do they? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like you should look for weapons. Bit. How the QR codes you were given if your RSVP was accepted could be reused. So you could just send them to your friends. Say save your friends and they could just reuse them infinitely. How the fire marshal actually did show up because the overcrowding became unbearable. And finally, how in last year's Las Vegas TwitchCon, there was a concerning group of people that would prowl around women and harass them. And now he had seen the same group at Blurp's party this year as well. Dude, I mean, I mean, it just seems so believable. It's a bunch of streamers like in like one place. And if you were like gonna creep, if you were gonna creep, this is like the high loot zone, you know? It's like you're dropping in, this is the high loot zone, obviously. Uh, overall, this situation is a complete and utter disaster. Every measure of security during this event was clearly just there What's for up, show. Sean? But I think the worst thing here, other than the fact that Blurp doesn't really seem to care, is that we still have no idea who caused this. This was a very exclusive VIP party full of top creators, most notably VTubers from Twitch. There was an uh -huh. entire RSVP list with a manual review process. Which one of these people snuck in with an extremely strong drug and got out without being caught? We don't know. And you sure as hell won't catch me drinking anything if I ever go to TwitchCon and hang out in a party. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Blurp, Blurpy, whatever the hell his name is, ends up making a party in TwitchCon 2025, which will also be in San Diego. Thanks for the follow. But I sure uh, as hell hope that Thank the you. security in that event will be more than just a decorative prop. Please stay safe out there. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video, whenever that is. Love you. Mwah. Dude, that's so crazy. I don't know, man. I, I feel like you 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 got it. You got it. You got to protect yourself. You have to bring like your own drink covers, your own drink covers. You gotta like really watch that shit. You know, like that's that's so wild uh, because it's so concealable and like so easy, right? To like hide something like that in order to like actually drug somebody. It seems like it'd be incredibly easy, especially if it if the drug is that effective and hits that hard and like it's small. In a world where people are willing to do anything for content, don't trust anyone. Yeah. That's pretty wild. I don't know, though. Again, I don't know that much about this kind of culture because I don't really go to this sort of stuff. Now entering a PvP zone. Oh, right. I was going to tell you guys a story. You guys don't know the story? Um, I went to a party. Um, I know. It's, I literally just talked about how I don't do that. It was um, it's like a wedding. Uh, I'm going to change a little bit of the details just to, you know, obscure things. Uh, I went to I went to a wedding. I'm at this wedding party and I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm eating, right? When you go to like these kind of like more nor like normy kind of like these parties it, it's like i'm hanging out with mostly like older people 
that you know like kind of the generation above mine right so i'm and there's like no one like my age really like at the table right so it's like i'm hanging out with like older people and usually when you go to that things i mean what do you talk about what do you talk about with somebody that like you don't really know right it's like what, what's your job right like what do you do oh, oh what do you do like what like how's how's like you know life like what do you do and then i, I was like oh you know i i didn't know what to i didn't know what uh, what to what to say or anything like that and I probably should follow Shia Moss advice and just make up some bullshit, right? But I didn't really know what to say. So I was like, um, I, I guess I'm, I'm like, I, 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 I was like trying to think like, how would they, what, what, what terminology would they know? So I was just like, um, influencer. I'm not really, but it's like the thing that they would understand, right? So I, I basically said that and they were like, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's really cool. And I was like, yeah. And they're like, um, they're like, yeah, what what uh, what platform are you on? What platform are, are like are you on a on a on a certain platform or something like that? I was like, oh, man, it's not really one that like you would know uh, anything about. They're like, is it YouTube? And I'm like, no, no, no. And they're like, is it Twitch? And I was like you know what you know what twitch is what the fuck right i was like yeah yeah twitch twitch yeah 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 twitch and he's like oh wow like you're a streamer on twitch and i was just like uh oh right i was like oh, i was like kind of like i don't know like i you know i don't really i don't really like show anything it's kind of like you know like a like a cartoon sort of a thing where like i you know i'm controlling like it's like puppetry or something like that and he's like oh you're a vtuber and i was like what the fuck what the fuck what is this right and so i was just like uh oh so like now i know i kind of like dug myself a little deep right so i'm just like oh shit right i'm like um uh yeah sure yeah mm, yeah mm -hmm. oh yeah so um are you partnered and i was like what the fuck what the fuck i was like yeah and they're like oh really well i work for twitch do you want to go to twitchcon oh. ah! well time to completely rebrand it was a good run boys oh my god bro dude it was like my worst nightmare dude it was my worst nightmare dude i was i was dude i was sweating that's why i said you need a defensive story well dude i didn't expect it how would i expect that you know like dude and so I was like, I was like, man, I'm getting the f in the hell out of here. And then like there was like another person. There's another person that like came to the table and they were like, oh my gosh, guys. Like, did you know that this person is a Twitch partner? And I was like, oh God, right? And they were like, that is like our premier program at Twitch. This is like our, this is like, oh my God, there's, they're like such a big deal to like be a partner on Twitch. I was like, oh my God, dude. <sighs> oh my God, fuck. And they're like, what's your channel? I'm like, not, I'm done. Mm-mm, uh-uh. And so I, I never told them, I never told them. They said, they said, they said, I'm gonna find you. They said, I'm gonna find you. And I'm like, I ain't saying anything. So like, I hope they never find me. But maybe I shouldn't have told the story. Maybe that was a bad idea. Maybe I, maybe I should have kept that one to myself. Uh, but but yeah, I use a lot of channels on Twitch. That's probably fine. Probably okay. Delete the vod. Delete the vod. Nuke it. Self-reported. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, but it, it, dude, it really stressed me out really bad. I remember messaging Shy that day. I messaged Shy and I was freaking out. You remember Shy? I freaking I freaking DM Shy. I was like Shy, like oh, dude. I'm like, I'm so stressed right now. I was like Shy, like oh my god, I hate this. So I then, <laughs> dude. One of the times you wish you could find the deepest hole and dig it deeper. Yeah, I've had this happen to me twice. So I probably should shut my mouth at this point. Like I probably should stop. Um, there was another time that this like kind of similar thing. S similar thing happened to me it wasn't like the same though it wasn't like of the same level like this one was like the worst 
that one was the worst but there was like another one that was like kind of light like that where um i was on a fishing pier with with i was on the fishing pier with my mom and there was this old guy and like this is like when we we were uh we were on our way like to kind of move and so we were talking to this guy and he's like oh you guys are from uh you guys are from su such and such like that's so cool like uh yeah you guys are gonna move here like wow like you're gonna love it here it's like so nice here like what like what well, so what do you guys do and I, I did the same thing i was like yeah you know i i do this and they're like oh yeah like wow that's really cool and i'm like um and he's like so so uh, so so it's like it's like it's like you do this and i was like yeah you know it's like kind of like there's like a like like you know we use like a program to like do like motion capture and then like this is what it looks like and then like i showed it to the guy and it was this old guy it was like an old texan guy like an old texan guy right and he and he had like the he had like the accent and everything right and he's like and then dude he looks at me like right in the eye and he goes oh i get it it's like one of those anime OCs. And I was like, what did you say? It was like an old man. It was an old man. I was like, what? What did you say? Did you say anime OC? Bro, I, dude, I, oh my God, I lost it. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> yes, this is a planet. Thank you so much for the follow and uh, Bernadette as well. Thank you. Uh, what if the old guy was hiding even more than he already knew? Dude, it was so, so crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Yo know, says if leave it was a superhero with your identity, she would get revealed next week. I know, I know. It was so crazy. That's why, like, dude, I, I, I probably should just shut up next time. Like, like I'm just not gonna say anything next time. Another part. Oh, what do you do? Ah, counting. Actually, no, because I have to pick something with like a good cover story. You guys tell me like I'm a baby merchant or something. I'm the, I'm the baby merchant. I'm the baby merchant. Tots are us. I give you all the service and no damn fuss. My husband says, tell me you're a card shop owner. You know what, though? That, that That's not a lie. Because I am in game, right? So to technically, yeah. You know, that's that's true. That's a good one. But like, I feel like they, they might catch me in like a in like a lie or something. I'd say it's like really boring. Like really boring. You know, like... like uh, market advisor oh yeah consultant game design consultant there we go because that's not technically a lie because i do do ga uh, game video i do do game design consulting so that's not wrong i'm just gonna say that from now on yeah i'm a game dev and i literally can't say yeah you know what good good point shy good point Dude, I was so panicked. I was so panicked. I was texting like I was texting Shy and like my hands were shaking. I was like, Shy, Shy, save me! Like, look, look, this, this happened. And then, like, what the fuck? I'm like, dude, it was rough, man.